what's going on guys it's your boy terror by reacts here and we are back finally with some peaky blinders season four starts today who it's been a while <clears throat> since we've watched this show um i know a lot of you guys been asking when is it coming back when is it coming back well it's back today um this was supposed to be out from from actually supposed to come out on friday but i postponed it um to saturday okay so if you're seeing this it should be it should be on a saturday maybe saturday evening at some point as i said man things on the schedule are subject to change and because you know i have to do things outside of youtube if i had the time to do youtube full time then i would i would do um youtube full time and make sure everything is on schedule for you guys but there's other stuff that i have to do outside of youtube um that takes up a lot more of my time really um so i'm gonna jump into this man we already know what's going on from the last one if you want to refresh go back and watch the last episode but essentially what how they ended the um season three was basically everybody getting arrested pretty much um michael got arrested polly got ar arrested um arthur got arrested the only person that's still standing is tommy but he he, he, he said he made a deal with people more powerful than their enemies i don't know who they're talking about but i guess we're going to find out in this season i think this is the last season um after we watch this season we sh we should be caught up on you know on what's going on currently because i think the season ended and we're they're waiting on we're you know they're waiting on season five now to drop so we should be caught up so i want to knock out these six episodes in probably two weeks I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to knock out these six episodes so we can move on to a new TV show, of course, um, and get this off the docket. Um, I'm going to miss it. I already know I'm going to miss this show. It, you know, since the last time I watched the show, like, I already miss, I already miss it. Um, but it's just that the stuff that was going on, I was moving and all of this other stuff and stuff just keep coming up and I didn't get a chance to do it. Um so and when i do get a chance to do something it's always like you know on the weekends and stuff like that and i couldn't churn out the episode because i have other um shows that you know i have other shows on the channel like rome vikings those i had to make sure that those are out because those are scheduled for the weekend so it's kind of tough for the weekly shows when it comes on to anime and stuff even the anime stuff was like out of whack sometimes so couldn't really find the time to do it um of course um if if kitty cat if you're watching this intro <laughs> if you're watching this intro please let me know if you're watching the videos over on bitshoot be, um the ones that i've uploaded so far so let me know so that i will upload them because upload them as soon as possible okay so if you guys are having trouble watching these reactions on the google drive please let me know so I, I will start uploading them to the bitch um to the bitch shoot site so that you can see them okay so let's jump into this reaction man i'm ready to go season four episode one let's get it i will see you guys back here for the review as always Uh, oh my god I definitely did not expect this I, I really didn't in in a way I kind of felt like something bad was going to happen but then but then when Tommy killed the dude I was like okay I, I can relax a little bit
John is definitely dead. I don't. I'm not sure about Michael. I'm. I'm really not sure about Michael. But I'm definitely. I'm sure. That John is gone. John is definitely gone. I don't even know how to start reviewing this episode because we all know the infamous New York Mafia Italians, man. We all know the stories, bruh. We all know the stories of the Italian Mafia in New York, spread over Chicago. It's with the Tommy guns. We all know. I don't know what else to say about this episode. Except to discuss the technical aspects of it. As I said man. It's one of those. It, it This show is one of those shows that gets better. By the season. It never disappoints. And the pacing is so good. To be able to. To be able to, to cram all this information into six episodes per season and make it so good where there's no pacing, you know what I'm saying, pacing disparity, nothing, nothing is off, nothing is off, nothing I mean, the brilliance behind the direction and the production behind this series, man, is just off the chain. And I I have to apologize to you guys for not getting to this sooner, to be honest. Because, of course, I didn't know that they were going to have an opening like this. Because we've never had, out of the three seasons that I've watched, this is probably the best. This is the best opening for any of the seasons for any of them previously i don't know I, I i don't even know how to put into words right now how shocking that ending is it's like me i saw it i saw it coming but i didn't see it coming you know what i'm saying You know, the whole the whole episode, Tommy is saying, I can't reach John. And it's foreshadowing. It's very foreshadowing of what happened in the end. Michael got shot once, and I think he's going to survive. I think Michael is going to survive. I'm not going to presume him dead, because I only saw him get, get shot once. And Esme is still alive. The character that's the most annoying She's more annoying than freaking Linda, man. <sighs> she just don't understand. I I get where her thinking is coming from. But to be to to think for a second that you and John can handle this by yourself when it's always good to have better numbers, man. You there's no way I expected them to be taking care of themselves. The, the family is stronger together. Yes, Tommy did a bad thing, man. Forgive. Move the hell on. Your family, man. And I'm guessing Tom, I, I blame Tommy in such a way where he distanced himself from them because of what he knew he did. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, whether they hate him or whatever, you know, Arthur is never... As much as he disagreed with with so much stuff that Tommy does, he knows that's still that's still his brother and he loves him. You get what I'm saying? Like he's the type of dude that's that's like no matter how much stupid shit that he does, him and John, they know that Tommy got their back. You know what I'm saying? They know that. And Polly knows too. It's just that sometimes I go through this in my personal life too when it comes on to family. Like, yes, they do stuff I don't like. I do stuff they don't like. And sometimes you got to get a little distant sometimes. Sometimes you got to get a little distant. But at the end of the day, if they call me and say, oh, this one is in trouble, that one is in trouble, I'm there. All of that bullshit can, can be pushed to the side. You get what I'm saying? 
because family is always going to be family and there's always and, and is if you notice it's always the fucking in-laws man it's always the in-laws it's always the in-laws that's telling you some other shit i went through the same shit in my life man it's always the in-laws bro it's always the in-laws man that's like, oh, you don't need them. Blah, 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 blah. All we have is us. <sighs> Listen, man. No matter how much I encouraged, encouraged my ex to have a better relationship with her family, she never wanted that shit. She never wanted it. Family, man. Family. I can't stress enough how important family is. I'm not, I'm not talking about the, pre, the, pre, the, the the pretending part of it. I'm talking about real stuff. Real love. Unconditional. Yeah. You're going to have arguments. You're going to have disagreements. You're going to have fights. But at the end of the day, family, man. I don't care what the hell they're into. I don't care what they're into, man. Yes. I, you, you see, the, the thing... There is so many different things that encompass in this show where you can look at and be like, hey, that's that's me. Because Ada tries to, di to, to, to distance herself from the bad part of what they used to do, the criminal part of what they do. And see, she she keep she gets caught up in it. And I think she's come to terms of acceptance now that she's part of she's part of it no matter what she tries to do. I think that's how her character started off this season uh, of acceptance of, you know what? When shit hits the fan, I'm included regardless, even though she still had a little bit of sense of she's kind of like outside of the, 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 the criminal circle, but she still get caught up in it. The Italians, they, they kill everybody and the babies, bro. They don't care. This was a good episode, man. This was a good episode. Sorry for my rant. I'm I'm mad. I'm mad because they killed John. And as much as I he's not my favorite character in the show, he's still I I feel and that's what I'm saying like from the other day I noticed that I keep reiterating this point of, you know what I'm saying, with great cinematography, how much it engrafts you into the world that they create. And this is also one of those worlds that have been created that I feel, feel like I'm I feel like I'm a Peaky Blinder, man. I feel like I'm a Shelby. And to see John die like that, even though he's not my favorite brother, I've said this multiple times. He's not. He's kind of annoying. He's too impulsive. I think I was even saying this throughout the episode, too. He's too impulsive. And he and and you know what I'm saying? Like. He's not, he's not that guy. You know what I'm saying? And I really feel, felt like he should have been more, I don't want to say submissive, but more of understanding of what's really taking place and not trying to be, you know, always so grandioso and in your face and I'm a Peaky Blinder so I could do whatever the hell I want. He needs to understand that that's not the premise that Tommy that's not what Tommy been trying to do. But he never understood that. And now all he does is listen to Esme. You know? So. I'm just, I'm hoping that Michael survives this. As a whole episode I'm watching and I'm like, shit, I feel like somebody's going to die this episode and I don't like. I just didn't like the setting of the episode and I dropped my guard when Tommy killed the dude in his house. I dropped my guard, man. God damn it. Thank you guys so much for watching, man. As always, terabyte out. See you guys later.